the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Onye, odironye gikagi. Onye, 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 odironye gikagi. Onye, onye. Listen to me. Hear me. We are going to pray. Tonight, we are going to cast that crown. Forget that I'm a prophet, a man of God. Keep your titles to yourself and cry before God and say, Lord, this is not how we started. I am here this morning not for celebration but for repentance. Genuine repentance. Many of you have held your Bible but you left Jesus a long time ago. Long time ago. Can I tell you this? You don't crush altars by saying in the name of Jesus, I release Enugu. No. There must be a track record of death. There is a relationship between death and glory. Show me your face, oh God. What message do I have to preach when I have not seen you? What will I tell Pharaoh? What will I tell the altars in Enugu state that tie down the lives of destinies? This one is more than just having anointing, I assure you. There are realms that are beyond just being anointed. It's a track record of encounter that you can carry that presence. Moses did not say, let anointing go with us. He said, if your presence, your presence, your presence, an anointing is a subset of your presence. If your presence will not go with me, I will quit this ministry. If your presence will not be with me, let them say I'm backsliding, but I, I rather have a track record with you. There's gonna be a great awakening over the east of the Niger. There's gonna be a great revival in your land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they will be saved. Hear me? The final thing an encounter does is that an encounter brings you to a place of brokenness isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 an encounter brings you to a place where you are genuinely broken <laughs> it's a mystery in the spirit that only broken vessels can carry god in the year that King Uzziah, who was a man of God and a prophet of God, over Enugu State, over Nigeria, Apostle Joshua Selman, great man of God. Let's see what God says about such a man. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Hmm. Until then, I was hearing him and he was speaking to me. But I'm about to see him now. He was sitting upon a throne when I saw him high and lifted up and his train filled the temple verse 2 
and above it stood the seraphims each one had six wings with two he covered his face with two he covered his feet with two he did fly isaiah is having an encounter now one cried to the other and said holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory isaiah was watching in this vision huh. and the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried and the house was filled with smoke then said i let me tell you what a genuine encounter does this right here is not condemnation there is a difference between condemnation and brokenness woe is me he said i am undone undone means i have it's like cooking and tasting the food and say this food is not yet done i am undone nobody told him oh let me tell you this one of the evidences of a genuine encounter with god is a revelation of the true state of your heart to you if it is the god of the bible you meet he reveals the true state of your heart you can call yourself a preacher you can call yourself apostle joshua selman men can call you man of god they can clap for you whilst you are climbing protocol can stand here but until you find out what god is saying about you you are not yet in ministry woe is me woe is me holy 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 is the lord god almighty is the lord god almighty my life is full of your glory this house is full of your glory watch this he said please keep the scripture for us now i am undone i am a man of unclean lips and i dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips this is the revelation of his holiness for my eyes have seen the king i didn't know you are the one who sent me that i'm doing ministry carelessly about now i am seeing you can i tell you the truth i know what this experience looks like i have shared my encounter many times the day i met the lord jesus christ i knew that many preachers did not know him it is not sarcasm i'm telling you this my goodness my god you have not seen anything like this until that's why many of these revelations where people tell you they've met jesus i submit to you it's not the jesus of the bible if you actually meet jesus my brother my sister it does not matter what religion it does not matter who you are you will really know you were created my goodness my god the splendor and the power that flows from him the beauty upon his face you can look at any part of his body for the rest of your life i'm telling you at that point i was with jesus if he had asked me let's go there is nothing on earth this is why you see there are people you are praying for to come back to life the moment their eyes see him they wave you bye bye say stop that prayer i need to go home can i tell you this believe me when i tell you if you see the jesus i saw there is nothing that will stop you from following him until death many of us have seen there are men we call tall dark and handsome wow handsome guy or a beautiful lady beautiful lady 
and just at that mundane sight you cannot sleep well wait till you see jesus ask john the revelator when he saw him in the isle of patmos he described him his hair was like wool when jesus appeared to me i didn't know should i die should i leave should i talk should i be quiet should i roll jesus and there he stood before me and i'm wondering my father my mother help her nobody ever told me he's not the founder of a religion no there are not many religions and one of them is founded by jesus consuming fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills this room consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome glory fills this room listen i was flat on the ground flat on the ground if it's for an altar call i'll soon make an altar call before we pray flat on the ground and he looked at me the brilliance on his face i was there oh god i came from a background i never believed i would be a preacher my grandfather was a man of god ah, but i can tell you what my heart was saying lord if you're doing something in this city don't do it without me don't do it without me lord if you're healing many in this city please don't do it without me that was a cry that was in my heart lord if you're lifting someone in this city don't do it without me don't do it without me and all that he did to me if jesus just left i would have been grateful for seeing him but his majesty stretched his right hand and light with such brilliance and power shot my entire being from head to toe it's like holding a high electric vault that will blow you into pieces his majesty and all that he did was to leave let me tell you the truth it took me more than one year to recover from that encounter i was not myself again help those under the anointing it took me more than one year i'm saying this because many of you in this season the the apostles and the prophets that are rising from this city you will need more than an ordination you need an encounter and a genuine encounter there are people rising oh i came to stir up a fire Hmm. more than sermons i came to stir up a fire more than preaching more than just singing songs there is a god of the bible i present to you yeshua hamashiach the son of the living god the crucified christ exalted today as lord and christ exalted today as lord and christ i present to you the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david hear me his majesty is about to make a convocation 
in this place oh i know him worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb He is the custodian of all power greater than any charm greater than any shrine when you know him you don't try to believe no i know him the king of kings and lord of lords faithful faithful is the lamb faithful faithful is the lamb Faithful, faithful is the Lamb that was slain. Praise Him, Hallelujah! Praise Him, Hallelujah! Praise Him, Hallelujah! The train of His woe fills the temple a cloud of heavenly worshippers surrounding your throne we join with them now crying holy holy is the lamb the lamb of god i see the lord I see the Lord exalted I above the worship of the people of the earth. I see, oh, I see the Lord for my eyes have seen the King. Is the Lamb upon the throne who reigns forever? All of the men we read about, they had an encounter with this Jesus. Now, hear me before I attempt to pray for anyone. I'm going to make an altar call and there is no cajoling already there are some of you the Holy Ghost is telling you you are the one who is the savior of your family but you need Jesus as a matter of life and death this is not about church leave them please if it's for salvation I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain as I count one to five cry before the God of heaven I see the Lord I see the Lord exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. Someday every eye will see his face. You will not need a vision to see him that day. You will not need to be a prophet to see him that day. Whether you believe him or not, a day will come creation will see his face who reigns for the more be lifted high I don't be ashamed of your tears let it be brokenness from the depth of your heart he says if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and who will hear me it will take brokenness to host the power that can dislodge altars oh lord believe that heart Let my life 
be the temple of your spirit let my spirit feel the warmth of your embrace let me be a holy habitation where your spirit is pleased to dwell ah. oh lord i want to know your glory i want to offer the sacrifice of praise this is my prayer feel this temple lord with your spirit talk to him Jesus is here you are crying but you are the next prophet that Enugu is waiting for you may have come from a family that need not call upon the name of the Lord my dear sister listen to me God is still looking for men God is still looking for men gentlemen God is still looking for men he has found members he has even found Christians but he's looking for men who shall I go and who shall go for us don't be ashamed of your tears just one minute and I'll lead you to pray and those of you standing just because you are not kneeling does not mean you should be watching me you should be talking to the lord god of heaven all of us together we are crying in brokenness before him you look past my sin my guilt my shame and called you look beyond me oh. you look beyond me oh. you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond me oh. you look beyond me oh. I'm the one you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy i'm the one say i'm the one you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy now please listen to me Many of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Just listen to me. Can I tell you this? Do not be ashamed of starting afresh. God is still looking for men. Don't let any man laugh at you. God is still looking for men. Some of you kneeling here and crying here will be the next apostolic, prophetic, evangelical voices that will herald the baton of the gospel hallelujah now I'm going to pray for everyone but this lady this Catholic nun tap her for me come there is something God is going to use this lady you are seeing I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing that she's going to be a mighty battle axe this is what I'm seeing this Catholic nun in the name of Jesus Christ okay you are not a nun can I tell you this my dear God is going to use you so mightily but I'm going to pray for everyone carry this small boy this boy bring him up let me show you Enugu pay attention to this boy there is a mighty mantle that is on this boy's life bring him 
I'm the one you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. Keep him up, let him walk and come, please. I'm the one saying, I'm the one you have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Help him, just help him come. I don't know whose child this is, but I'm seeing this is one of these young men. Don't despise this boy you are seeing. Don't idolize him. He has been fasting to see you. And he said he wants to touch. He told me he has been fasting to see me. Help him. Help that guy. Let him not. Look at him. This boy you see has a mighty end time apostolic mantle over the east of the Niger. You believe what I'm telling you. He may look small. But from a young age, what he needs right now is accurate, correct mentorship. Because these are the kind of people the devil is also looking for. If he falls into the wrong hand, they will turn this boy into something else. And he will abort his destiny. But I was just looking and the Lord said I should pick this boy and pray for him. I usually would not do this in public. How old are you? How old is he? Who brought him here? I'm 11. You are 11 years. Bishop, it's an honor in your lifetime to see your great, great grandchildren, those who will be carrying the torch of this gospel. I tell you by the authority of scripture, he's not the only one. According to the vision the Lord showed you, the bridge between the young and the old, God is beginning to pick them now. Small by small, who is that coming up? Huh? Oh, you are his mother. Come. Take care of this boy. You see why it's important not only to give birth to children, but to inquire of the Lord. What did I give birth to? Let me pray for this boy. Father, you have shown us mercy. When I pray for you, you will go there and see your grandparents and kneel before them let them lay hands and pray for you and then please i don't know who is his pastor or whoever you are the pastor please you will push you. don't idolize this boy yo, and don't expose him beyond his level of grace he's a little boy because what will happen now is people will start inviting him no don't kill the boy he's still a young boy in training many many young boys have risen like that and they just expose them and in one year they die just because god has located him does not mean god is calling him but god has not sent him yet please allow the boy grow i'm saying this as a disclaimer it is not an endorsement on the boy there are many things he needs to learn let him grow biologically spiritually but be like samuel learning under the prophet stretch your hands towards this boy as a point of contact to the next generation of the mighty move of god in the east of the niger may god forbid it that in the next 10 20 years god will not have men in this city may god forbid it that god will have to use strangers to come and preach is someone praying Pray for his family. Oh, a mighty vessel indeed. This boy will be marvelously used of God. Marvelously used of God. Use him as a point of contact some of them are your children in your homes don't despise them don't go to church and leave them back at home in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ father we pray for this our son 
we use him as a point of contact to many who are within his age range let the spirit of perversion and destruction never find them in this land this evil of technology mismanaged that is destroying our teenagers destroying their passion we pray that god would deliver this boy and his kind from them father begin a journey with him teach him your ways like young samuel i use his mother as a point of contact to pray for the entire family alongside his siblings may they train him and i prophesy luke chapter 2 and verse 52 unto you you will grow in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men please lead him to his grandparents let him go and let them lay hands on this little boy and help him for those of us who are here please lift your right hand with me i want to lead you to make this salvation prayer i'm going to pray god is going to use you but all these attacks huh? we have to destroy all these attacks many of you here the devil has seen the hand of god upon your life and before you even discover it he's already going ahead to begin to pervert your spiritual experience by giving you false visions and false encounters i cast that spirit out of anyone right now help them any lying spirit appearing as dreams ketela sosiasa help them any lying spirit appearing as visions appearing as the prophetic i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood i expose every devil right now whether it was invoked through altars and came from culture manifesting as pseudo prophetic manifesting as pseudo apostolic be delivered now be delivered now if wrong hands were laid on you and you receive wrong impartations that are corrupting you i curse those wrong hands right now i release you from the cause of negative impartations there are many 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 wrong hands that have come on many people and expose them to the realm of the spirit with terrible side effects now let's pray please all of you in front here shout it loud and clear say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe you died for me i believe you rose again for my justification this afternoon i declare that jesus is my only savior my only lord my only king i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from now till forever i am a child of god keep your hands lifted father we present to you these ones that jesus died for by the authority of scripture i declare that your sins are forgiven and i declare that you become recipients of the life of god every wrong association every wrong friends everything that needs to live your life to allow you serve god acceptably in the name of jesus we provide it for you i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be built may you be grounded may you be established in the name of jesus christ amen and amen is there anything for them okay here's what i want you to do where are they how are they following 
give me give me a direction someone uh, where do they follow that's what i'm saying from here where are they going to the aisles there okay this is what will happen please listen to me i'm about to pray now um for time's sake we may reserve a major part of the miracle service for evening so that we can conserve time but now all of you who are here i'd like you to please rise just follow the aisles there are gentlemen waving their hands please go to them they will have your details and they will follow you up after now let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them as they go now i want to pray very maybe one or two very special prayers let's allow them go please look up this morning when i got up the lord began to speak to me that there is grace that is going to rest upon this land in this season and that grace is going to start separating people for the call and the move of god there are some of you you represent the next move of god but you do not yet know others are in ministry but you have not opened your heart for the dealing of god that makes you become powerful please follow up on the people as fast as you can maybe let them just write their names and their contacts so that they can return back for prayer i want to pray for you now there are people here who have the call of god some are not yet in ministry some this will be the beginning of your journey in training some of you have started having dreams men and women alike some of you prophecy was upon your life they told you your parents told you they saw something young and old the lord is ready to begin to recruit his army there is a mighty mighty force that god is building across the nations please don't just come out randomly help her help her help her so she doesn't fall help her please whenever you see anybody under the anointing don't wait until you are an usher please help them so they don't injure themselves all over the world the spirit is moving all over the world like the prophet said it should be all over the world you know the song it's the mighty revelation of the glory of the lord as the waters covers the sea let me pray now the implication of this prayer i'm about to pray is that some of you by reason of this encounter you are stepping into the school of the spirit some of you god will begin to give you assignments pray every 10 to 12 or 12 to 2 every night you see separation like this requires obedience to a fault that's why we spoke about submission before encounters whatever he tells you to do do it as i pray for you please i want you to bring those people only outside father whether you are an usher or not help the ushers don't leave the work for them you gave me an assignment this morning there are people oh god from the loins of prophecy when the missionaries walked upon enugu state when they walked around the east of the niger they left with many prophecies some of them died and did not see it lord as we begin to stand in partnership with the holy spirit preparing this mighty end time army lord among these ones even though everyone is called but there are people uniquely called i pray oh god that in honor to what you showed me and told me this morning let the spirit of the living god begin to move across the crowd and to separate all those who in this season will begin that spiritual training in the name of jesus christ at the count of three please bring them out father use these ones in a mighty way use them 
over territories young and old one get ready two my god three let that fire come upon you let that fire separate you help them help them please help them help them help them fire bring them hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father who is seated on the throne over the east of the niger we we set ignite the flames of revival great men like reinhard bonke great men like tl osborne they have gone to be with the lord lord where is the next generation of men and women who will carry fire the catherine coleman's the mp sample mcpherson smith wiggles watch john knox ian bounds hallelujah Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Don't bring them out. But there are certain people at the minister's son i just saw fire coming you don't have to bring those ones out let's honor them but i stretch my hands help them take that fire take help them my god take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire new season take that fire the servants of the living god i ignite you i restore mantles i restore unctions take that fire Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Adoration to the Father, you are seated on the throne. That woman at the back of Bishop, the power of God is coming on two of you. These two women at the back of Bishop, take that fire. In the name of Jesus, an ignition upon your spirit man. Just two minutes and we're done. Everyone pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. New wine. New wine. Mantos are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return go ahead and pray lord use me for your glory in this end time everyone is praying father in enugu east of the niger across the nations i am available every spiritual circumcision every pruning i need to pass through i submit myself every pruning every discipline of the spirit every chastening of the spirit that i need to submit myself to pray i submit to your dealings i submit to your dealings 
an ignition upon my spirit an ignition upon my ministry an ignition upon my destiny I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.